for the video we are showing here is the diagnostic nasal endoscopy as you can see uh, just starting the, there is a caudal dislocation on left hand side this is a mainly a cosmetic thing and patient has uh, associated right uh, septal nasal deviation almost touching the lateral wall at the area of middle turbinate you can see the inferior turbinate in picture on the first pass and as you can see the second and the third pass are not possible in this patient on the right side of the nasal cavity because of the marked septal deviation then we move on to a case of ethmoidal polyposis we know it is usually a bilateral thing multiple pale like grape like masses and uh, here you can see the patient left nasal cavity the masses are occupying the middle meatus middle turbinate is almost completely hidden and uh, it is uh, similarly on the right right side also there is a polyp in the middle meatus and there is a polyp you can see medial to middle turbinate also so it is uh, arising from both the anti and the posterior ethmoids the posterior ethmoids one are seen in the medial to the middle turbinate we have a case of this septal spur and uh, usually they come with nasal bleed or uh, sometimes uh, sludos neuralgia that is headache once it is touching onto the lateral wall but here you can see it is not impinging onto the lateral wall it is just away but it is uh, touching the middle turbinate and here you can see an associated finding again uh, one that the uncinate process and the bulla ethmoidal is in contact and in the middle meatus there was mucoid discharge with anterior fontanelle accessory ostia which was suggesting chronic sinusitis another case with a right septal deviation with a middle meatus polyp and uh, as you can see there is polyp is single unlike the ethmoidal one and it is occupying a space between the uh, middle in the middle meatus and uh, further going we can see an stalk which is arising from a posterior fontanelle accessory ostia of the maxillary sinus so suggesting it was an antroconal polyp antronasal polyp right now then sometimes uh, ethmoidal polyposis are associated with allergic fungal rhinosinusitis and uh, again multiple pale like masses occupying both nasal cavity with the uh, discolored mucus you can see and uh, this is associated with the uh, allergic fungal disease this is one case where a foreign body has turned into a stone like thing this is known as rhinolith it is occupying the nasal cavity and usually can be diagnosed on a first pass only hard gritty on sensation often patient giving a history of unilateral nasal blockage and discharge sometimes headache secondary to sinusitis one case which had been uh, previously done smr at some other center came with a complaint of whistling sound excessive crusting bleeding and on examination you can see there was a septal perforation another case young male coming with a complaint of nasal bleed often and the mass the firm mass was seen arising from the you can say just behind the middle turbinate area the sphenopalatine foramen and coming into the nasal cavity and going into the nasopharynx posteriorly and you can see the blood vessels running over this mass so this was an angiofibroma uh, very young uh, newborn almost four days coming with a complaint of uh, difficulty in breathing and on nasal endoscopy here we had used a small 2.751 for uh, examination we can see then atletic plate both sides uh, we can see on first pass we are not able to see the nasopharynx another interesting case where the uncinate process was found everted or you can say medialized and uh, this gives a picture of bifid middle turbinate or duplication of middle turbinate but it is basically an everted uncinate process you can see it is attached and then coming out Thank you.